Hi, this is Tristan from heartremonitor.co.uk and this is a very quick overview of the Motorola Moto360 Sport. The Moto360 Sport is different to the standard Moto360 because this one has a built-in GPS. If you're not familiar with the Moto360 Sport or any of the Moto360 range, uh, it might help if I tell you this is an Android Wear watch so it's based on it's built on the Android Wear operating system which means it's really aimed at obviously Android phone users it can interface and connect with iPhones but you don't have the same level of functionality the purpose of this quick review is to show you how this watch compares um, as a heart rate monitoring watch for sports users I'm not intending to go through the all of these uh, connected functionality that you'll get on any Android Wear watch. If you're interested in the watch's Android Wear functionality then this possibly isn't the review for you. I'm focusing on the use of the watch as a sports watch. I'm just going to show you um, the size of the Moto 360 compared to a couple of other watches that I've currently got my hands on. This is my Sunto Spartan Sport which as you can see is quite a bit bigger than the Moto 360. Um, the Spartans are a large watch. And now we're going to compare it to a Polar M400. Thickness wise very similar and also really across the wrist which is from my finger to finger again very similar on the wrist I've got skinny wrists it's a comfortable unit and it fits nicely on male or female wrist it's a unisex watch it doesn't come in any options size options okay so I'm looking at the Moto 360 as a sports watch as a health and fitness watch You'll see around the outside of the watch in its main view there are four little windows. That's steps, calories, activity minutes and this one down the bottom is actually just time of day seconds. So this is the daily steps. This one top left is activity minutes and the bottom left is calories. Motorola try to motivate you to perform 30 minutes of heart rate activity per day and the step goal you can set yourself as well so obviously these little bars fill in as you approach your, your goals in the middle of the watch there you'll see a start button that's a convenient little shortcut that takes you straight to the Motorola MotoFit application I have installed on the watch Strava I've also installed um, the, mu the Google Music and that's the MotoFit uh, running application. It, I don't really know why they've not just done a general cardio application or just for non-runners, but it really is biased towards runners. If you're using um, Strava, I'll very quickly show you, you do have the option in settings to choose whether it's a run or a ride. And you can have auto pause on and off for riding or running and you can choose metric or imperial I did hope for a little bit more from the Strava application it is very basic um, time distance right, swipe Let's go back into that time distance pace time and then heart rate. So the heart rate is obviously being picked up from the bright LEDs on the back of the watch, similar to the Garmin 4135, the Polar M200, the Garmin 4235, etc. I will show you a graph of the test. I've done a 20 mile ride and a 6 mile run with the Moto 360, and I have to say, I was actually really impressed with the accuracy of the heart rate. Uh, I was, ex I don't know why, I was expecting it to be a little, possibly a little lacking, but it was 
better than what I've had recently from something like the Garmin Vivo Smart HR, possibly because it's a full width watch. Um, but it, it, whatever, it picked up exceptionally well and I have to, I've ranked it, I've rated it very highly with regards to heart rate. Uh, the Moto 360 application is the, is the best one. Uh, it's the one that comes installed with and it's the best one on the watch because it gives you the most information. First of all, you choose indoors or outdoors. I'll choose indoors. Obviously, if you're outdoors, it will turn on the GPS. Now, this is a nice little feature. You can select a goal. You have a time-based, distance-based, or calorie burn. If you select, say, for example, time-based, and then let's just go for 10 minutes. Tick that. Goal set, 10 minutes. And there we're off. Now the bar around the outside will fill in as we progress through the towards the target goal. So um, when I did a six mile run, I set that to six miles and at three miles it's, it bleeped up and it said you're halfway there, which was quite motivational. We've got pace, time and distance all very clearly on the display there. Swipe across, we've got heart rate. Again, this is, this is better than the Strava wrap. And this is the one, if I had this watch, this is what I would personally use. So we've got zones one to five, and it shows you as you increase your intensity which zone you're in. So that's good for people doing high intensity intensity interval training, hit training, and such like. Very clear at a glance, heart rate, and as your exercise time. If you had um, the music playing, you would also have music control here. I maybe haven't really explained that on this watch. That's a real. It, beauty of these type of um, smart watches um, whether it's something like the Apple Watch 2 the Polo M600 or this one the 360 Motorola 360 Sport uh, I have from my phone pre-installed about 60 songs on the watch so when I'm running I can just play a track which is then sent using Bluetooth to my Bluetooth headphones. I use these iRiver ones. And then while I'm training, I have music. I can control the volume, etc. So if I now go to Motive 360 running, do another quick start. So now, as well as having the normal screens, I've now got one for music control. I don't have volume, but I have forward a track, back a track, which works well. So, as you can see, it's easy to use. As I've already said, that the most importantly for me, the heart rate actually is good. Um, it's supported by a good app um, you have your daily summaries with your um, whether or not you've achieved your 30 minute heart rate goal your step goal your cat daily calorie burn and then if we go to my test run here as you can see that heart rate graph there that was absolutely spot on um, I did a steady hard two and a half miles out then I did some weights and some um, resistance work and then I did a steady run back and that was 100% representative of what I got from my chest strap. Whenever I do a off the wrist based heart rate, I always wear a chest strap and have it go to another watch as well for comparison. So um, yeah, the app was good. It's automatically, if you want it to, it can send stuff directly up to Strava. So um, all those little test sessions I just did then have been sent to my Strava app as well. Um, so yeah. The sort of if you if you want a summary, I would say it's not a technical runner's watch, so it does do auto lapping. Um, it's accurate. It's got built-in music stores, useful, um, but it's you know nothing like say for example a Polar M six hundred or. Um, 
an M600 will give you a lot more feedback because Polar have their Flow app installed on the watch. So if you're looking for Android Wear and you're more heavily into your sport, then I would suggest the Polar M600 over the Motorola 360. If it's just something you're going to use, you know, a couple times a week as a as a motivator to keep fit, and you're interested in the step and activity tracking, then it's good. Um, but personally, for me, I would be looking at a Garmin 4 and a 35 with wrist-based heart rate, built-in GPS, or the Polar M200 um, for something a similar size, but also a lot cheaper. Obviously, it's not they're not Android Wear products, but they they do do smartphone notifications and alerts, and they are also activity trackers. Um, my definite disappointment. Just this this is a charging bracket of the Moto 360 was its um, battery life um, if I put the unit on charge overnight and then picked it up off the charge in the morning at a hundred percent and then did a six mile run which took just less than an hour used it for activity tracking and smartphone notifications throughout the day I would be down to 25% for the evening and it would have to go on a charger for that night. Um, I am used to using things like the M400 which will go for you know more than two weeks doing GPS one hour a day, smartphone notifications etc etc. Again they're not smart watches but for the essential smartphone connectivity they do work. Um, I'm giving the Moto 360 Sport 3 out of 5 stars. I think if you're into your Android Wear and you're looking for a smartphone, it's a nice watch. Um, the heart rate ac accuracy is good, the GPS speed and distance tracking is good, the connectivity to applications like Strava, Under Armour, uh, uh, Fitness. I think, I can't remember. It is good, there's about 4 or 5 it automatically connects to but it is quite an expensive watch um, it's not swim proof that's an important thing it's not swim proof again the Polar M200 and the Garmin 435 are um, but it's to me it's let down by the battery charge I expect a watch to be able to last a couple of days and be used you know, for more than a few hours of GPS tracking the most I did on a bike ride was an hour and a half and that took the battery from 100% down to 50% on a cold day. So for me on my long three or four hour rides, it's just not gonna do, it won't work. Um, but for people that just going for a 40 minute jog once in a while, then it's fine. Okay, so this is, uh, oh, excuse me, Tristan from heartratemonitor.co.uk. Thank you to um, the chaps um, who lent me the this Moto 360 Sport, the UK importers. Um, three out of five stars definitely could be better if you really want an Android Wear watch then I strongly recommend the Polar M600 thank you